Welcome to Wednesday AI. I'm Sean, and our top story is the industry is going at AI music. The Recording Industry Association of America teaming up with Sony, Universal, and Warner Records, and they're suing Udio and Suno. They're saying that these AI platforms have trained their algorithms on the record label's vast catalog of popular music without licensing, without permission. And at first I was thinking like, well, how can you prove that? How can you know? What's it to you? You're not actually making a copy of the song if you're asking a robot to make a sound alike. But then I just discovered this little video clip from about two months ago. Listen to this. I think this is a really interesting thing that this subscriber found. Play that one more time. Listen to those. Now listen to this. Now let me slow that down to 0.75. Take a listen. Now I've been on TV as a Beatles expert a bunch of times. And if I would have told one of the AI apps to make me a song that sounds like the Beatles and that's what it gave me, I might think it kind of did the job. I don't know. But uh, it's going to be fun to see how this story shakes out because I'm old enough to remember when the industry threw a fit in the early days of MP3s and streaming, insisting that this was going to be the death of the industry until it wasn't. And they figured out a way to make it work for them. I'm sure the same thing is going to happen here, but we're going to want to follow the story and see how it develops. All right, next up, we're talking about Apple and Meta, the company formerly known as Facebook, apparently getting together to collaborate on AI initiatives, uh, work with Facebook's technology to get AI capabilities into the iPhone at an even deeper level than they already do. Now, these two companies have historically not been allies. They've been going at each other for years and years and years over devices and social media platforms and privacy policies, but apparently the tides have shifted and they're starting to see new competitors entering the fray and perhaps there's a bit of a the enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing happening no, nobody's quite sure what is happening but the talk is that these two are having discussions about how they're going to partner up to further their ai aims and it's a big enough story that they're talking at all that all the major news uh, channels and outlets are covering it and it's big news you can see the link to the full story at the wall street journal of all places right there on the wednesday i page for this week ladies and gentlemen nobody stays on top forever not even the beatles held the number one spot for all time beloved as they are so it was interesting this past week to see nvidia the chip maker whose name seems to be synonymous with all things ai it was interesting to watch them take the spot as the number one most valuable company in the world up above Apple and Microsoft. And then in the time that it would have taken you to report on it, get popped back down to number two with Microsoft on top. Just goes to show how unpredictable and volatile all this stuff is. Don't cry for Nvidia, they're doing fine. Shaking things up in the corporate world now, Stability AI has got a new CEO. Prem Akaraju is coming over from Weta FX. That's the Academy Award winning special effects house that's done stuff for probably every big budget movie you can think of in the last 20 years. He's coming over to take over a company that's dealing with its founder having resigned this past March, taking other key figures with them. The company's facing significant debt, poor revenue. They introduced their new image generation model and people are receiving it poorly. So now Prem's coming in with a new vision. New money's coming in, including Sean Parker, who was made famous in that movie, The Social Network, and they're bailing out the company, and Parker's now serving as the board chairman. Now, with Stability's technology so important to the art side of what we do with AI, this is going to be a really interesting story to watch. You can follow the link on the Wednesday Eye page to get caught up with it right now. You know how it is. It's late at night. You've been out having a good time, and you got those munchies, so you hit the drive through well, McDonald's thought that the AI could help you out at the drive-thru and that this would help improve order accuracy and customer service speed. Well, that's not what happened. Take a look. Stop! <laughs> where, where did the butter come from? I would just like a large water and a cup of ice cream. There's no or hot butter. None. Plain. Zero. Zada. Nothing. 
<laughs> Just vanilla ice cream. For the oh my God, I'm done, I'm done, we're done. So how bad the AI system got it has gone viral many times over. And so McDonald's has decided to end this experimental partnership with IBM. Now, AI still has a place at the drive-thru, so McDonald's says, it's just that they gotta take a more cautious implementation. Other chains like Wendy's and Taco Bell are also betting that AI is gonna help them save on labor costs, though the tech needs more refinement to avoid what McDonald's went through. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how this technology impacts the employment in the fast food sector. We'll watch this story, and you could click the link on the Wednesday I page to get started right now. Encouraging new advancements in the treatment and understanding of Parkinson's disease, researchers have leveraged AI to identify blood biomarkers that predict Parkinson's disease up to seven years before symptoms start showing up. Using machine learning on mass spectrometry data, they pinpointed eight proteins linked to early disease stages. Check out this clip for more. The signature of Parkinson's is so complex, it took artificial intelligence to find it. It analyzed thousands of proteins from the blood of hundreds of thousands of people with and without Parkinson's disease. And the AI was able to do what a human scientist couldn't and identify a specific pattern in those protein profiles in the blood sample. The AI model achieved 100% accuracy in identifying Parkinson's patients and 79% accuracy in those with pre-motor symptoms. So this is an enormous breakthrough offering a pathway for early diagnosis and targeted treatment strategies. This is really, really exciting news in the health world and you can get the full story at nature.com. The link is on the Wednesday I page right now. Wrapping things up with the videos of the week, we got some good ones. Our friends, Mean Orange Cat, are back. You saw their Matrix spoof, you saw Gladiator, and now here they come with Cats in Black. Then they introduced me to Bob <laughs> and about a hundred other aliens. They offered me a chance to save the galaxy. Of course, I wanted in. And you know what? I looked fucking good. No smoking, please. Our first case was a doozy. Some lady saw a big bug in her backyard. For all the old school Nintendo fans in the house, check out this F-Zero movie trailer by Gregory Mandarano. In the year 2560, the greatest race in the galaxy ignites. F-Zero, a brutal test of speed, skill, and survival on futuristic circuits where gravity is defied and metal screams. I laughed my butt off when I saw this one. Love at First Bite by Nem Perez. 3,241. That's how many hours we spent together, counting nights and weekends. Remember when we met? You kept count. And finally, let's rock out. Let's have a party with Hot in the Valley, the music video by Lil Dextop. And that's the show once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're making anything cool with AI, I want to see it. So get me the link or give me your feedback on the episode, x.com, Instagram, LinkedIn, leave a comment on this video, write it on a banner, wave it around the neighborhood, spray paint it on a wall somewhere. Wait, I didn't tell you to do that. Or did I? Oh, I better get out of here. Thanks for watching. Fire.